I am Roma Malik and I will be teaching class 11th biology. The unit for today is diversity in the living world and we will be discussing the plant kingdom. Well, the plant kingdom is referred to as planty. Plants are autotrophs. They are able to prepare their own food by the process called photosynthesis. It is because that plants have the pigment called chlorophyll and with the help of sunlight, they are able to prepare the food. This process is called photosynthesis. Under the plant kingdom, we will be dealing with algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Algae, they are chlorophyll bearing organisms. They are thalloid, autotrophic, aquatic organisms. They show a variety of habitats and they are of various different forms. The reproduction may be vegetative as well as by asexual and sexual means. Maximum carbon dioxide fixation on the earth is being done by the algae and they are the chief producers in the marine, for the marine organisms. The main classes of algae are chlorophyce, pheophyce, and rhodophyce. Characteristics exhibited by chlorophyce. Mostly they are green algae, they are unicellular organisms, they may be colonial, they may be filamentous, they have the presence of chlorophyll A and B. Cell wall is made up of cellulose. The chloroplast is of various different shapes. It may be discoid, it may be plate-like, it may be reticulate, as well as cup-shaped and spiral. The storage bodies are the pyrenoids, which store the starch in them. Reproduction may be by vegetative means, that is by fragmentation. By asexual means, it may be by the zoospores. Sexual reproduction may be isogamous, anisogamous, oogamous. Pheophyce. Under the pheophyce, we get the ectocarpus, fucus, laminaria. They are generally known as the brown algae and the chlorophyll which is present is A and C as well as the other pigments are carotenoids, xanthophylls and fucoxanthin. The cell wall contains cellulose as well as algin. The food is stored as carbohydrate which is in the form of laminarin or mannitol. Protoplasm has plastid and they have centrally located vacuole and nucleus. The plant body is attached to the substratum by a holdfast, a stalk which is known as the stipe and frond which is the leaf-like appendages. Reproduction may be by vegetative means through fragmentation. Asexual reproduction may be by biflagellate zoospores and sexual reproduction is isogamous, anisogamous, and oogamous. Rhodophyce. They are generally known as the red algae and they contain the pigment chlorophyll A, D, and R phycoerythrin. The cell wall is made up of cellulose. They are multicellular and they have a complex body organization. The food stored here is in the form of Floridian starch. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction is by non-motile spores and sexual reproduction is oogamous. Bryophytes. They grow in moist and shaded places. They are known as the amphibians of the plant kingdom. They are thallus-like, prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by root-like structures called rhizoids. They lack proper true root system and stem or leaves. The main plant body is the haploid which produces the gametes which is known as the gametophyte and the sex organs are multicellular. The male sex organ is known as the antheridium, which forms biflagellate antherozoids 
and the female sex organ is known as the archegonium which is flask shaped and produces a single egg. After the process of fertilization, the zygote is formed and this zygote undergoes reduction division and forms the multicellular body called sporophyte. It is divided into liverworts and mosses. Liverworts, Mercantia comes under liverworts. They grow in moist shady habitats. Their plant body is thalloid and dorsiventral. Reproduction may be by asexual means, that is by fragmentation or asexual buds, which are known as gamma. Sexual reproduction is by the male and female sex organs, which are produced either on the same or different thalli. When they are produced on the same thalli, they are referred to as homothallic, and when they are on different thalli, they are generally referred to as heterothallic. The sporophyte is differentiated into foot, sitta, and capsule. The spores germinate to form the gametophytes. Mosses. Here, the gametophyte consists of two stages. The first stage is a protonema, which develops directly from the spore. The second stage is the leafy stage which develops from secondary protonema as a lateral bud. Reproduction may be by vegetative means. It is generally by fragmentation and budding. Sexual reproduction, in sexual reproduction, the sex organs, that is, antheridia is the male sex organ and archegonia is the female sex organ. They are produced at the apex of the shoots. After fertilization, the zygote is formed, which develops into the sporophyte. This sporophyte then forms foot, sitta, and capsule. Pteridophytes, example, the horsetail, the ferns, which we find in our area, they all come under pteridophytes. Evolutionarily, they are the first terrestrial plant that possess vascular tissues. Earlier, the algae, bryophytes, they did not have the vascular tissue, but pteridophytes are the organisms which has the vascular tissues. Plant body is sporophyte and differentiated into true root, stem, and leaves. They have two types of leaves, the microphylls, which are small leaves, and the macrophylls, which are the bigger leaves. The sporophyte bears sporangia. This sporangia produces spores which forms the prothallus. The gametophyte bears antheridia and archegonia. The fusion of the male gamete with egg results in the formation of zygote. This zygote then develops into the sporophyte, which is the dominant phase in the pteridophytes. They are homosporous as well as heterosporous. That is, two different forms of spores are found homosporous, that is the similar spores, and heterosporous, they are the dissimilar spores. Gymnosperms are naked seeded plant. Gymnos means naked and sperma is seeds. They may be medium sized plant, they may be huge trees, just like the giant redwood tree, which is known as the sequa tree, or shrubs. The stems are branched or unbranched, they have leaves which may be simple or compound. They have two types of spores, that is they are heterosporous, haploid microspores, and megaspores. These spores are found in the sporangia, which are born in sporophylls. The male and female strobili are known as cone, which you can have a look at this. This is the cone of a pine which is referred to as the strobili. Angiosperms. Angiosperms are known as flowering plants. They are of immense importance to us. They provide us with food, fodder, fuel, medicines. They are divided into two classes, dicotyledons and monocotyledons. As the name suggests, dicotyledons means 
the presence of two cotyledons. Monocotyledons are those which have one cotyledon. The male sex organ is known as the stamen and the female sex organ is known as the pistil or carpal. The stamen has a filament and anther and the carpal and the pistil is made up of stigma, style and ovary. The ovary encloses the ovule which has the reduced female gametophyte which is referred to as the embryo sac. Pollination takes place in angiosperm. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther of the male flower to the stigma of the female flower is known as pollination. When the pollen grains are transferred from the anther and falls to the receptive organ which is known as stigma, it reaches through the style to the ovule. The pollen tube enter the embryo sac and discharges two male gametes. One of the male gamete fuses with the egg cell which results in the formation of a zygote and is known as syngamy. The other male gamete fuses with the diploid secondary nucleus and forms the primary endosperm nucleus which is responsible for storing the food. This is triploid and this process is known as triple fusion. Double fertilization is a unique event in angiosperms because the male gamete once fuses with the egg cell which is known as syngamy and the second fertilization which is known as triple fusion. The zygote develops into the ovary. The primary endosperm nucleus develops into the endosperm which is responsible for nourishment. The synergids and antipodal cells degenerate after fertilization. After the process of fertilization, the ovary develops into the fruit and the ovules into the seed. We can have a look at the life cycle of an angiosperm wherein the diploid sporophyte alternates with the haploid gametophyte. Sporophyte is the plant body and gametophyte are the gametes. Angiosperm have different life cycle patterns which is referred to as the alternation of generation. They may be haplontic, they may be diplontic or haplodiplontic. The haplontic life cycle is generally found in Spirogyra and Chlamydomonas. The haploid gametophyte is dominant and the sporophyte is just one cell zygote. After the zygote is formed, it undergoes meiotic division and forms haploid spores. This haploid spores develops into the gametophyte. The diplontic type of life cycle is found in gymnosperms and angiosperms. The diploid sporophyte is dominant and the gametophytic phase is single to few celled gametophyte. The next type of life cycle pattern is haplodiplontic which is an intermediate one and it may vary with organisms. For example, in bryophyta, the dominant haploid gametophyte alternates with short-lived multicellular sporophytes dependent on the gametophyte for anchorage and nutrition. In pteridophytes, the diploid sporophyte is dominant which alternates with multicellular, sporophytic, autotrophic, independent, short-lived haploid gametophyte. So we have seen that how plants starting from algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms vary. They follow a definite life cycle pattern which is referred to as alternation of generation. Their life cycle patterns are also different. In some we find the dominant gametophyte whereas in some we find the dominant sporophyte. So the plant kingdom shows a variety of forms. In the next episode we will be discussing about the animal kingdom under the unit 
diversity in the living world. That's all for today.